A thousand dollar prize pool on the line and these players are bringing out their most creative attacks. So let's take a look. Gaku is in, kicking off this match, and he is uh, coming in with a banger, coming in with 46 minions. He's got an overgrowth. He's got seven bat spells. Let's see what uh, Gaku's cooking up here. So start with the baby dragon on the left side with the flame flinger. Quick peek at the hero equipment. Nothing really out of the ordinary there. King on the right side. We got the warden on the right side as well. That archer tower was targeting that flame flinger for just a bit, but it is able to get it down. Took a little bit of damage, though. King pops his ability moving into this uh, center compartment, clearing it out. All these big defenses out of the way. We do have a super dragon on defense. All right, Warden Walk still going across that right side of the base. And he's got an Inferno Dragon on the Town Hall. Inferno Dragon plus one freeze is enough to take the Town Hall down. All right. Warden Walk's still going. We still have that Super Dragon up. Of course, nothing over there to target it. Phoenix should be able to start targeting it, but here we go with the bats from the bottom side of the base. The bat spells are going to be moving through. We got the Overgrow in the core, covering up the Eagle, the multi in front of towers, the scatter shots. That takes pretty much all the splash damage off the base. We will have to worry about the Poison Tower and the multi Archer Tower. But we got Super Minions coming out on the top side. We're going to clear out the enemy RC. But here we go, that Poison Tower is about to go off, but he's got the Warden's ability, pops the Warden's ability, loses some bats, but most of them are still there and pushing through. So they get away from that Poison quickly. The Overgirl wears off. They get through the Multi-Archer Tower, and now the Multi-Inferno Tower, so Scattershot's going to pick the bats off. But they got so much of the base out of the way, we still have the 46 minions, and here they go. All in from the top side of the base. We got the Queen on the right side, and we got the RC in the mix. I'm actually not sure where she's at. There she is on the right side of the base as well. All right, we'll see how much value these regular minions can get. They're getting picked off quickly by the uh, Scatter, the Multi, the Wizard Tower, and down they go. But the Queen and the RC should be able to finish this up. We do have the Hulk Puppet, of course, for the RC. She'll pop it here. And the Haste is going to make her go a bit quicker, get through the Eagle, get through the Multi Inferno Tower. Got one more Multi to worry about. Queen gets the other defenses on the top side, and all that's left is the Ground Expo and the single, or the Inferno Dragon. He's going to get it cleared out. He's even going to swag and end his on this attack. Absolutely insane start to the match. Nicely done by Gaku getting that triple. All right, Yo-Yo is in. Once again, we do see that Overgrow paired with the nine bat spells, but it's got some different uh, troops to back it up. This time, it's going to be nine healers. We got a bunch of balloons from the top side. He does find some early Teslas up there. He's setting up for the Flame Flinger. Good thing he had the balloons there to check. So Flame Flinger is set. We'll take a quick look at the hero equipment here. You see he's got the Rage Gym with the Warden. And nothing out of the ordinary. Pretty much standard setups. Alright. Flame Flinger getting rid of these Teslas and should start working on some of these defenses. Oh, does he have? No, he does not have the Fireball. I already looked at the equipment. <laughs> it's always good to check when you see these Warden Walks, though. That's when people like to run the Fireball. All right, Queen's in from the top side of the base. He does have wall breakers, likely gonna break that Queen in for the Town Hall. That double hero charge clearing out both sides here. Probably gonna overgrow the Eagle, because he can freeze up the Eagle, the Maltese, the two Poison Towers, and that's gonna be a lot of the splash away from the bats. I wonder if he can reach both Infernos and one of the Scatters. I'm not sure exactly what the range is. I know it's pretty big. We'll have to wait and see what he does, though. But if he could get a scatter and both multis into poison towers, that'd be crazy. It's King's ability on the left side. The Warden's still going on the right, and the Queen eventually making her way into the Town Hall. We do have Triple Ice Below on defense. And there's the Overgrow. He's not going to try to go for the scatters. Instead, he's just going to Bat Bomb a scatter on the left, and then Royal Champion for the scatter on the right. And there's not a lot of defense that's left. Most of the defense is here are covered by the Overgrow now. But they're going to be able to get through the Expo, get in, and get the Monolith taken care of. Let's see, is he going to be able to get these bats under the Warden ability as the Overgrow wears off? If they go to the single, he is. Oh, but the Tornado. He's going to go ahead and pop that Warden's ability because that Tornado was going to wipe these bats out. Can they hold on and move through a couple more defenses before the Inferno Towers get them? And they will. They're going to get through the Inferno Tower. Drops an Invis. Look at that. Gets through the Eagle Artillery. These bats are cruising. And down goes the last defense. That was absolutely crushed. A beautiful hit from Yo-Yo. 
and it's done. The triple once again for the Tribe Gaming side. He's got 11 bat spells, no overgrowth this time, and it looks like it will be another double hero charge. We got nine healers, and that's really the most of the army. <laughs> All right, here we go. We got King on the bottom side of the base, Warden on the left side. Take a look at the abilities. He, he does have the Eternal Tome with that Rage Gem. All right, everything else looking standard. All right. He's in on the bottom, couple of headhunters. Taking out the enemy king, Electro Titan to help the king. We have the Ice Golem there, Warden's got some skellies over there on the left side. We get through that enemy queen, we got the queen coming in on the right side. We'll zoom out so we can see everything all at once. Eagle shots coming in on the king. Here we go, pops that king's ability. It'd be nice if he can get the eagle over the wall while he's targeting CC troops, maybe. No, he's gonna run away from it. Goes back. Come on, King, you got this. He's gonna get some damage on the Eagle. Maybe the Electro Titan Aura can finish it off. I think she's close enough at the moment. Phoenix is there as well. Warden's still going strong on the left, but he's gonna send the RC in to join up with him. The Queen also still going strong. The King did actually get the uh, Eagle out of the way with the help of that Electro Titan down there, so that is tremendously helpful for the back end of this attack. And here we go with the bat bomb on, well not a bat bomb, but the bats are in on the right side. And there's no splash. He does have the, uh, the multi-archer tower, that's about as close to splash as he's got down there. Actually anywhere on the base. These bats are going to be able to move through easily. He's got so many of them with 11 spells. He's going to freeze up the single inferno. And here we go, these bats are going to finish through the rest of these defenses. No problem. Beautiful hit once again from Yo-Yo. He's going to freeze on the top side of that just because really didn't even need it. Now the bats are even going to get raged up with the Warden's uh, ability there, but GG. Just a matter of cleanup. He's got cleanup troops all over the board. It's going to be another triple for Yo-Yo and Gaku. He'll finish it up with three out of four triples. Beautifully done. And there we have it, some very cool creative attacks. And if you guys want to see some attacks that might be part of the new meta, I recommend checking out this video right here.